Craig in the room with me. Don't mind them. They're just making some notes today. So, what brings you in today? I'm having some trouble breathing. Okay. Um, so, you have a history of COPD, it looks like. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, I was diagnosed, like, maybe five years ago or so. Okay. And my doctor gave me the albuterol that I was supposed to take, you know, when I'm having some trouble. But otherwise, I take um, Advair, okay. like, twice a day. And um, is this from smoking, or what's the cause of the COPD, or do they know? I smoke, yeah. Do you still smoke? Mm -hmm. How many years have you smoked, and how much do you smoke every day? About 20 years, and I mean, I only smoke like a pack a day. A pack a day? Oh. Yeah, not too much. Well, that seems like it's probably more than enough, especially if you already have COPD, so oh, yeah. we'll talk about that later. Um, tell me though, what kind of trouble have you gotten into with your COPD in the past? Have you ever had to be hospitalized? Um, once, about a year ago, um, I was admitted and for, I had pneumonia and then it got worse and I ended up in the, in the ICU. Did um, they have to intubate you or put you on a respirator at all? Uh, yeah, for a little bit. Okay. Um, I've been better okay. since then. And um, have you been sick with this recently? When was the last time you had to be seen by a doctor for your breathing? Um, my primary care doctor um, gave me uh, z pack for bronchitis. I had bronchitis. When was that? <clears throat> About um, two weeks ago. Okay. And then you were doing better, I take it, until when? When um, did this start to get worse? This I felt better for a couple days. And about two days ago, I started feeling short of breath. Um, and it's gotten worse since last night. Are you coughing with it? A little bit. Is anything coming up? Uh, sometimes it's a little bit green or white. Okay. Any fever? Um, I took my temperature this morning, and it said 101. 101. And outside of your inhalers, do you have a breathing machine at home? I, uh, like a nebulizer? Like a nebulizer? Um, yeah, I use that when my breathing gets really bad, if the inhaler isn't working. Okay. Do you have to be on oxygen at all? No. Not at night, no time, usually not on no. oxygen? No. Okay. When do you find your breathing is worse? Is it with exertion, if you're lying flat, or is there anything that makes it worse or makes it better? Um, when I'm walking up my stairs, you know, getting the laundry mm -hmm. downstairs, it seems like it's worse. Um, and I woke up in the middle of the night um, feeling like I couldn't breathe, like I couldn't take a deep breath in. Okay. Um, have you been on any steroids recently? Um, is a Z-Pack a steroid? No, something like prednisone or Medrol? No, not recently. Um, Probably a couple months ago, but not okay. recently, when I had bronchitis before. Okay. Do you have other medical issues besides the lung issue? Do you have heart problems, high blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, anything else you can think of? I have high blood pressure, uh, but I don't take anything for it. Okay. But other than that, no. Okay. And are you having any other symptoms associated with this today, such as chest pain or palpitations? Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. No. Are you lightheaded or dizzy? Headache? Um, a little bit lightheaded, okay. but not no headache. Any change in your vision? Any difficulty swallowing? Mm -hmm. You haven't passed out at all. Mm -hmm. um, no bleeding anywhere on your stools or black tarry stools. No. Uh, you're not on a blood thinner, are you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any urinary symptoms? Burning frequency, urgency. No. How about any um, leg pain, swelling, no. no unusual rash? Anything else that I haven't touched on that you think is important? No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and examine you then. Okay. Open your mouth for me real wide. Uh, okay, so there's some mild pharyngeal erythema. Um, a few shoddy submandibular nodes. Turn your head for me. So there's no JVD. So go ahead and sit up. 
to have some kind of tidal injection and deep breath. So there's some diminished breath sounds at the bases and an increased expiratory phase. There's some scattered bronchi. Maybe a sore here, mm -hmm. here. No, mm -hmm. my back. Okay, heart sounds are distant. There's an S4 gallop. Borderline tachycardia, but regular. Take a deep breath in and let it out slowly. Okay. So, um, some mild hepatomegaly with the liver edge palpable, two finger breaths below the right costal margin. That's over here. Mm -mm. Okay, it doesn't hurt to do that. Mm -mm. Negative Hohmann sign. And uh, let's check your pulses here. The radial pulses are symmetric bilaterally. Okay, we're going to order up some tests. I'll just be talking okay. to my scribe for a mm -hmm. minute. I'd like to get a PA and lateral chest on her and uh, get some labs, CBC, basic metabolic. Go ahead and get a BNP as well, also an EKG with a troponin. And um, we'll go ahead and get blood cultures times two and a lactate level. And that's just to see, because you may have a pneumonia in there with the fever you had and mm -hmm. everything, and mm -hmm. we want to make sure you're not septic. Um, have the nurse start an IV, and we'll give some IV fluids, 250 uh, cc's an hour of normal saline. And once the uh, blood cultures are done, let's just go ahead and give a gram of Rocephin IV, and um, we'll also put in an order for azithromycin IV, and we'll go from there. All right. I'd like you to um, put down on the chart the patient's EKG. This patient's EKG shows an uh, uh, atrial fibrillation with RVR, that is rapid ventricular response. The heart rate is 176. The um, axis is a left axis. Conduction normal except for the atrial fibrillation. There is uh, normal SD segments and T waves, and the final impression is uh, atrial fibrillation with RVR. Comparison to the previous EKG, this is a new atrial fibrillation.